Does anyone know what Chase Interlock is? No, who no. Tell us, Mr. Audio. Digital recorders are precisely clocked, and therefore, in most cases, recordings can be made simultaneously on different devices, which can then be imported onto a timeline referenced to a common sync point, for example, a slate or two beep, and they'll run in perfect sync. However, the same isn't true for analog recorders. When interlocking analog machines, it's necessary to have some type of control track, like timecode, to keep the multiple machines in sync. Simply timecode, which is a digital clock originally developed by NASA, can be either an audio signal or, in the case of video, can be inserted in the vertical interval between the frames. This type of code is known as VITSI, or vertical interval timecode. In order to keep multiple machines running in sync, a chase interlock system is used, which includes one or more synchronizers and usually a controller. One machine is designated as the master and the others are the slaves. The synchronizer compares the incoming time codes, one from the master and one from that particular slave machine. It first locates the slave machine to the time code of the master, or to the master's time code with a predetermined offset. This is the chase part of the operation. Then, during the interlock portion, the synchronizer keeps the two devices locked by making subtle speed adjustments to the slave machine. Thanks, Mr. Audio. For more interesting facts about sound, visit Mr. Audio at soundimages.com.